Good afternoon, team. I uh, thought I'd just do a quick video blog, give you a bit of an update on where we are currently as we head into you know the last few weeks before Christmas. It's Monday the 8th of December, it's just after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to cover a few key areas just so everybody's lined up for the challenge between now and the end of the year uh, as we move into quarter four and um, what looks like it's going to be one of the biggest and uh, most crucial quarters we've had in open reach for a while uh, based on the service levels that we need to deliver and our financials and where we are at this moment in time as we come into the new operational design which is really exciting and looking forward to that as well. So just a few key things to call out in the video blog this morning. First thing, obviously, as we come into, we're into December now, uh, we're really in the, the darkest nights of the, the winter period, uh, so safety is absolutely paramount, absolutely crucial that everybody's working safely in the patch, uh, and the managers are out there doing their supervisory checks. You know, so far we've done about 8, 813 checks, year to date, AMS checks, which is really, really good in terms of the volume, and they've been well uh, spread out across you know, the monthly cycle that we look for from the managers. We've just completed the round of the, the winter checks as well, so 117 checks on that. The managers have obviously checked, looking at the, the stock holdings in the vans, make sure everybody's got the right equipment in terms of snow socks as well. So we'll manage to do that and we've refreshed the SOM safety plan um, between now and the end of the winter period, so that's really good as well. Unfortunately, we've had one lost time incident, uh, that obviously happened a number of weeks ago now, but uh, that's the first one we've had nearly two years in the South East. The individual is okay, but obviously a bit disappointing, it's one too many, but we'll continue doing the EMS checks that we've obviously done to make sure uh, we continue in the good trajectory in terms of our overall safety position. Service is a good news story so far. Uh, you think back to the charge control story that we talked about at the roadshows as well against the six elements for repair, provision and appointment availability. And um, we've managed to hold our own on that. We're delivering really well in repair, provision and f uh, FAD as it's called, first available day. All six measures are above the year-to-date target and quite significantly in repair and provision as we come into again a most challenging part of the year. So that's that's a real call out. We need to continue to focus on that between now and the end of the year. Uh, and that's about putting as many customers back in service as well between now and Christmas whether it's a tail or whether it's a, a job that you handle on the day we absolutely need to make sure that we do that as well but we're doing really well in service you know TRC we've done pretty well over the last four weeks our overall revenue position in terms of conversions now about 23 percent so above target on that uh, we aim as a team as a target to bring in a million pound I'm calling it the million pound drop some of you might be familiar with that name of the TV program but we're looking to, to drop a million pound back into the revenue for BVG14 Scotland and service delivery overall we have to bring that money back in it's absolutely key to the financials this year as well to offset some of the efficiency miss and the other issues we've had around about tails while we're waiting the new operational design coming into open reach on the 1st of April roughly uh, so really, really good, but we need to continue to look for opportunities in that. The line 6, 60.6 60 socket changes and the time that we're recording on the TRCs needs to be reflective of the time we spent. It needs to be accurate, but it needs to be, you know, uh, absolutely the right thing to do as well in terms of that. So make sure you're booking all the TRCs correctly. Quickly talk about efficiency. So we're off at this moment in time by about £12,000 in the, the SOM patch uh, on our efficiency glide. So how can you continue to help us on that? Well, a few things to think about. I've talked about it on the touch base calls. So it's the test to calm, final test to calm. It's the before you turn the key. It's an OPQT and hard network clears. It's maximising that efficiency during the day and, and driving as much success as you can with the jobs you handle. Also thinking about the homeward bound initiative as well and trying to pull on the extra jobs uh, in the day to get that additional completion in, which is going to really help us um, ultimately improve our efficiency as well and it's also thinking about the time you take to handle further so reducing times of no access TCLW whatever it might be absolutely to try and reduce that time to make it as effective as possible with the landed patch optimization uh, that happened over the weekend there so we've got the new structure in place for the patch PWAs for the 143 144 146 and obviously we'll put in some additional PWAs as well. So looking at that this morning with the control, everything looks in place bar one exception, which is going to be fixed for the 10. So really looking to see what that can give us in terms of improved travel, improved efficiency and better service as well. So I suppose if I had to summarise where we are and some of the key asks as well, if you think about every task that you handle, look to you know drive success on the day, provide service and really think about doing it as efficiently as possible. One of the other things at this moment in time, which is a big cost, is engineer arrival on site. When we do miss it, it costs us £45, and we're seeing a lot of jobs where they're actually allocated in time, being either furthered before the appointment, which costs us £45, or the engineer arrival on site entered late after we've been on site within the appointment slot. There has been some changes to engineer.com and my jobs. 
that should really stop that happening now. It will give you a prompt or a red flag if you do it incorrectly. So if you watch out for that, but absolutely look out for that as uh, something we can eradicate in terms of cost. That will help our overall financials as well. And just touching on financials, it's a massive part of the story for Open Reach this year. Yeah, we absolutely need to do everything on our power to improve our efficiency, bring the TRC revenue back in while the new operational design is set up. I think quarter four is going to set up to be a really, really big quarter for the business. And we need to do everything on our part in the southeast uh, to deliver what we can between now and then for Team Scotland as well. So I think the message would be be safe, you know, think about service. Uh, act commercially all the time in terms of the decisions you make for open reach and we can look forward to a great Christmas and then really look forward to a fantastic 2015. So thanks for your support this year, appreciate it greatly. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all out and about at the start of 2015 as well at the next round of team meetings. But be safe and uh, I'll hear from you all soon. Thanks. You shot it.